Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, Military Video Tech. U.S. sends 100 aircraft to NATO's largest combat group in Germany with attention to Russia. On Monday, more than 250 aircraft and 10,000 personnel from 25 countries kicked off NATO's largest air exercise in the alliance's history. The Air Defender Exercise, which is hosted and headed by Germany, simulates NATO's response following an attack on one of its members by a third country. Air Defender sends a clear message that NATO is ready to defend every inch of Allied territory, Oana Lungescu, the alliance's spokesperson, said. Finland, the alliance's newest member, is also participating in the exercise, as is Sweden, which has applied to join the alliance, and NATO partner Japan. NATO is underpinned by its famous Article 5, according to which an attack against one of the alliance's 31 members is considered an attack against all. Article 5 has only been invoked once in the alliance's history, following the nine elements attacks against the United States. NATO conducts frequent multilateral exercises across all domains, but exercises on the scale of Air Defender are very rare. Air Defender is necessary because we live in a more dangerous world. As we face the biggest security crisis in a generation, we stand united to keep our countries and our people safe," Lungescu said. More than 20 different types of aircraft are participating in the exercise, including JAS-39 Gripens, Eurofighter Typhoons, F-18 Hornets, F-16 Fighting Falcons, and 5th generation F-35 Lighting Eye stealth aircraft. The U.S. is participating in the exercise with approximately 100 aircraft from various National Guard squadrons. The size of the American contribution demonstrates the strong bond between Europe and North America, working together in NATO," Lungescu added. Among the platforms that the U.S. has sent to Air Defender are A-10 Warthogs, which specialize in close air support and were designed to take out Soviet tanks, and F-35s. The Multirol F-35 is the most technologically advanced combat aircraft in the world and by far the most ubiquitous stealth aircraft in service. Aircraft will take off from a number of air bases across Germany, the Netherlands, and the Czech Republic, although Air Defender will primarily take place in three areas over Germany. Missions will also be held over Romania and the Baltic region. The Baltic is particularly important to NATO, the three small Baltic states, Estonia, Lithuania, and Latvia, border Russia and used to be part of the Soviet Union until its collapse. To deter Russia, NATO already has three battle groups in the region, illustrating its importance. During the exercise, NATO will be flying dozens of different aircraft at the same time. This contrasts with the capabilities of the Russian military, which has been unable to conduct large-scale air operations in Ukraine and has failed to achieve air dominance there, despite its numerical advantage over Ukraine's air force. The exercise was being planned since 2018, and although NATO didn't mention Russia as the reason for holding the exercise, in a press release circulated some months before the exercise, the German military said that Air Defender reflects the Russian war of aggression. The war in Ukraine determines our present and shapes our future. 